Satnam. Okay, we're gonna do a Syrian heart wash, a Syrian code shower cleanse of the heart chakra. Sorry, I'm always like, there's this spontaneous altar that happened on my computer table because I have a beautiful medicine Buddha statue that's usually up on the dresser. For some reason, I just wanted it closer to me. So I put it on this table where I'm always working and this altar sprouted out around it. I like, I had nothing to do with this. I had two little oranges in my pocket one day while I was in the middle of the session, I was like eating one and I forgot the other one. And then I brought like a squashy wand, raw tiger's eye, two uh, crescent shaped rose quartz. There's a piece of quartz from Arkansas. There's uh, some lapis lazuli that got there. There's a black pearl from Bora Bora and frankincense and myrrh. I would turn the camera around to show you I might just take a picture and edit it in the video because it's so crazy how it all just happened to gather around the Buddha statue. Buddha was like, don't worry, don't worry. I'll take care of my own offerings. <sighs> Sorry, Buddha. I love this. I love this though. Okay, so this is our grand theory reading for today. Um, section eight, Rag Asa. Part 30 says Nanak, sing continually the glorious praises of the Lord. Your face shall be radiant. Your consciousness shall be immaculately pure. Asa, fifth Mahel. The nine treasures are yours. All treasures are yours. The fulfiller of desire saves mortals in the end. You are my beloved. So what hunger can I have? When you dwell within my mind, pain does not touch me. Whatever you do is acceptable to me. O oh, true Lord and Master, true is your order. When it is pleasing to your will, I sing the glorious praises of the Lord. Within your home, there is justice forever and ever. O oh, true Lord and Master, you are an unknowable and mysterious. Nanak is committed to your service. Asa fifth Mahel, <clears throat> he is near at hand. He is the eternal companion of the soul. His creative power is all pervading in form and color. My mind does not worry, it does not grieve or cry out. Imperishable, unshakable, unapproachable, and forever safe and sound is my husband, Lord. Unto whom does your servant pay homage? His king preserves his honor. That slave whom God has released from the restrictions of social status, who can now hold him in bondage. I love that. That slave from whom God has released from the restrictions of social status, who can now hold him in bondage? Who can? Ugh, beautiful. The Lord is absolutely independent and totally carefree. O oh, servant Nanak, chant his glorious praises. Asa fifth mahel. Forsaking the Lord's sublime essence, the mortal is intoxicated with false essences. The substance is within the home of the self, but the mortal goes out to find it. He cannot hear the true ambrosial discourse. Attached to false scriptures, he is engaged in argument. He takes his wages from his lord and master, but he serves another. With such sins, the mortal is engrossed. He tries to hide from the one who is always with him. He begs from him again and again. Says Nanak, God is merciful to the meek. As it pleases him, he cherishes us. Asa, fifth mahal. <clears throat> the Nam, the name of the Lord is my soul, my life, my wealth. Here and hereafter, it is with me, to help me. Without the Lord's name, everything else is useless. My mind is satisfied and satiated by the blessed vision of the Lord's darshan. Gurbani is the jewel, the treasure of devotion. Singing, hearing and acting upon it, one is enraptured. My mind is attached to the Lord's lotus feet. The true Guru in his pleasure has given this gift. Unto Nanak, the Guru has revealed these instructions. Recognize the imperishable Lord God in each and every heart. Asa, fifth Mahal. The all-pervading Lord has established joys and celebrations. He himself embellishes his own works. Perfect is the creation of the Lord Master. 
His magnificent greatness is totally all pervading. His name is the treasure. His reputation is immaculate. He himself is the creator. There is no other. All beings and creatures are in his hands. God is pervading in all and is always with them. Uh, Satnam. So I like to read the Quran in English. Gurbani is the treasure, <laughs> as it just said. But I like to read it in English. Um, you know, the, the Gurbani changes the neurons of the mind, so it's always good to read it and hear it and let your your mouth speak it and chant it and let your teeth and tongue program it into your neurons, even if you don't know what it means. It's healing for your body to chant Gurbani. It's a celestial sound. It's a heavenly language. It's like Sanskrit. Um, but, um, yeah, so I still like to know what it means because the poetry is it, the reading a page of the Sri Guru Granth every day will change your life. Even if you're all caught up in the religious programming of like, I don't want to hear anybody say Lord or like, mm. I get a little turned off when you're like talking about the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, because we've been, you know, it, don't get lost in the verbiage. Change the word if it makes you feel better. But I actually, when I first started reading the Granth, like committing to that practice of reading a page a day of the Granth, I, um, I went a few months saying the lady instead of saying the, the Lord, because I went through that. I was like, ah, all this Lord stuff. You know, like, and, but in the Grant, they actually talk about the souls. All the souls are feminine. Everybody, if you're in a male body, if you're in a female body, if you're in an octopus body, if you're in a hermaphroditic body, your soul is feminine and the spirit of God is masculine. And so they speak of it as um, the husband Lord and the soul bride. And that metaphor does something in my brain. I just know it's really, 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 um, it's been a life-changing practice for me to read that every day. And I always like kind of um, shy away from doing things like this uh, here because I know people can be like skittish about religion, but it's such a part of my life and it's such um, an important part of my life. So I wanted to share it. And if it scares some people away, then you know, God bless them. Let's do this. Let's tune in. So rub your hands together and bring your thumb joints to your chest. Inhale deep and pull your root lock up. Roll your eyes up and in. Hold the breath. Exhale. And inhale. Pull everything up, roll the eyes up and in, tip of the tongue floats up to the roof of the mouth. Exhale. And inhale to tune in. Oh. up and press the palms together. 
pull down a container of diamond white source light all around you. Exhale. And sit in this column of light. Let this white light just pour down all over you from the ether. Hold the image of this while we chant the protection mantra. as I was just watching this lecture um, by one of my very first gurus when I was like a little tiny girl and um, Siddha Yoga, Guru Mai, beautiful, beautiful, amazing teacher, like my first teacher, I think. I was just watching one of her lectures and she said, uh, she was talking and when she would talk, balloons were popping and she was like, in India, everything is symbolic. Everything is seen as spirit. Everything is seen as God. So when you're talking to someone and a bell rings, it's saying God is like agreeing with you. Um, and she was like, we'll take the balloons popping as that symbol or that same like symbology. She was like, if you ever want somebody to really believe what you're saying, like just have someone behind them like ring a bell while you're saying it. And they'll just you know give credit to anything any wild thing that you're saying so it's so funny that like we're tuning in and it's like ding ding i don't know that was cool but i had to put it on do not disturb because because come on now so we're gonna do this uh heart liberating amazing kirtan using the mantra har mukande Mukande meaning the liberator, the chain breaker, the releasing aspect of God. And I was laughing because this Capricorn full moon was like, you know how a Capricorn will get you together financially. They're always got together financially. They like release all the bull stuff, all the, all the bullshit, all the, you know, the stuff that you don't really need. I know Capricorns can be very, very luxurious. I know a lot of luxurious Capricorns, but like stuff in your life that you don't need to be doing, especially financially, like a Capricorn hates paying for something that they don't use. Like, you know, I forget about subscriptions, <laughs> but like my mom is like, you know, are we still using this? Why are we still paying? I'm like, no, we actually need it. Like that's the kind of stuff that was happening during the Capricorn full moon. And I consider that like, those releases they might feel like oh no like I'm losing that thing even when you haven't used the thing that you're subscribed to forever when you go to like get rid of it for some reason you can't get rid of it because you're thinking of this hypothetical maybe I might need it for something that will never show up you know it's like a less serious form of hoarding it's like virtual hoarding you know it's like um the attachments they're so silly once you release them you never think about them the things sitting up in your attic you never will touch until you die but if somebody's like let's throw them away you'll freak out why because it's an attachment that's all it is it's just an attachment and releasing an attachment when you are consciously aware of i'm releasing this attachment it's so freeing it's so nice that's why i was loving that line that i read that 
is so alive. The Grand Pitta of the Sikhs is not, it's not a book. It's the 11th Guru. The Sri Guru Granth um, is the, the last Sikh Guru and they consider it a living consciousness and it so is. Like, if you see how they handle it, it's so, it's cherished. It's like they're holding their Gurus, all 10, uh, all 10 of the Sikh Guru's words are in the Granth and it is the embodiment of the 11th Guru, the ultimate Guru, you know what I mean? So whatever I read, even if I miss a day, like if I read it every day, it's always the passage has something in it that is specifically going on that day and it's spooky and it's so, well, you know, now if you're aware of what's happening, then it's lovely. But if you're like, why is this book always talking about something like very detailed in my life? And even if I skip a bunch of days and then like jump back in, it's like right there. So that line that I repeated, I just realized is about this. Like the, the he who God has freed, the slave that God has freed from social status. Like who can, if, if you're not clinging for uh, worldly things, it is said that they'll start to chase you. If you're not running after Maya, if you're not chasing wealth, if you're not chasing power, attainment, land, you know, anything that is material, worldly kind of thing, the thing we want, when you chase it, they say Maya will run away from you. She's like a beautiful woman. But what happens when you reject a beautiful woman? What happens to those guys that play hard to get or like, you know, are not really that interesting. They're just not interested in you. Then you're like, well, what the hell? And they'll fight to like get your attention now because you're like not interested in me. So what are you interested in? And I'm more interesting than that thing, you know? So it's like that with Maya, that beautiful woman, the illusion, the worldly material gain. If you're like, yeah, I'm not chasing you anymore. I don't, I don't need to have followers. I don't need to have likes. I don't need to have this amount of money. I don't need to have this looking car. I don't need to have these shoes that look like this. I don't need to look like this. I don't have to look a certain way. Like I can just be, when you start, stop chasing it, then it's like starts coming to you. You start magnetizing wealth. You start magnetizing all of the beauty and all of the luxury and all of the inner shine because you get it. You understand the mission. <laughs> You're like, okay, 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 this isn't real. None of this is real. Okay, so what is real? What should I be paying attention to? You start going deep within and that magnetism starts pulling the world to you. So beautiful. So um, with the Harmo Kande, it's, we're going to do it Kirtan style. So it's um, by... Meraba Sieba, this beautiful, they do the most beautiful mantra work ever. But, um, so Kirtan is call and response. You might have heard it with like the way people chant Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, that kind of thing. Why isn't this not opening? Um, the singer will sing and then the... <laughs> I'm trying to sign it. And then the, the audience chants at, in response to what the singer just sang. They just repeat it. It's like that. So the only thing that we're going to be saying is the mantra Har Har Mukande. So we're going to let her sing it first and then we'll respond. And in the middle, there are some English affirmations that you're going to definitely want to say out loud. Definitely. Especially approaching this. 7-7 seven, seven portal, you are going to want to be free of all of the worldly attachments. So you can transition. This is a go, 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 go portal. This is a fortune portal. This is a luck portal. You know when the casino says 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven and you win the jackpot. This is a jackpot portal. So you don't want anything blocking, limiting. A lot of the codes that are coming in with these crazy uh, Schumann resonance, celestial waves of the photon band, a lot of the codes that are coming in, they're hitting the earth grid, they're, dis they're disseminating through, you know, they're dispersing through the earth grid and they're connecting with us and it's getting stuck. They're getting stuck in the, the release in the back of the sacral chakras. 
everybody tends to the front of their chakras. The backs of our chakras are hell. They're all, there's no releasing. They're, they're, everybody just says this. And you know, I'm talking about my Reiki students. <clears throat> but the, <laughs> the backs of our chakras, the even energy workers that I've seen people to get in quantum energy work. And like the, I look at the back of the chakra and it's like a mess. It's just a mess. Um, <clears throat> so the backs of the sacral chakras are getting completely jammed up by these new codes. And then there was a lot of work that went through painful work. Everybody got sore throats and like congestion and, um, can't wake up super hungry, you know, because of the blockages, a little bit of discomfort because of the blockages. A little bit of weird dreaming, I think, because of the blockages. And then it, they moved up, you know, uh, painstakingly. So, and now it's kind of getting the back of the shoulders, the back of the heart chakra is feeling the same thing as this energy is moving up, up, up. So it can start circulating to your, through your Taurus field. It has to go through every chakra and it has to be able to clear it. Your chakra, your chakra systems have to be able to hold that kind of energy field and all of the, symptoms all of the ascension symptoms we feel are our inability to adjust to these frequencies it's crazy it's like lightning through old circuitry um so the our heart chakras now need a little bit of this support oh it's 333 three, three. i love that um need a little bit of this support with um receiving this energy so it can come up through the earth come into our roots come into our hearts come into our minds disperse through the heavens come back down and keep cycling and you know this doesn't stop this ascension doesn't stop so the energies are going to get more intense so let's um let's be free and clear for them the mudra we're going to do is going to be right in front of your heart you're going to put the left hand first and the right hand on top of it kind of like crisscross fingers in a little bit curved like you're accepting the ambrosial heavenly juices like they're just falling into your hand and you can already feel it when she says when you say har har mukande whenever you say the heart you're going to want to pull your navel in a little bit so you say har har Mukande. And then uh, when she says the English, we're going to say that in English too. But you don't have to like sing song it. You can just say it. It's really important to say it. And it's some, I think some there might be some resistance to saying it because some of it is like asking God to take all everything that I want from me. Take all of these like stupid desires, these things that I think I need from my mind. And we, we can get so attached to the attachment you know, I even, I'm saying this because I felt it, a little resistance when I first listened to this song. I was like, but wait, what? What? You know, the, even some of that kicks up when you read some of the things saying like, obey a guru. If, in a Western mind, we are not taught to like, what? I don't obey nobody. Blah, blah, blah. We're so used to being like, you know, bamboozled. Um, The ice cream truck just went by. And I take that as a beautiful sign. And was also singing, it's a small world after all. Okay, so we're here when she, when not when she says, sorry. When we say, har, har, we're pulling in the navel. And then just saying, Mukande with the navel relaxed. And let your eyes be closed. Go ahead and close your eyes and hold the mudra now. <laughs>
हर हर
beautiful energy right into your heart chakra. Don't press hard, just breathe normally and hold the hands here. Let the ether, let the ambrosia wash all your attachments clean from your heart. Our Syrian brothers and sisters are with us, chanting with us, singing with us. Masters of emotional body, of the waters of the emotions. Feel their energy with you now. Feel like you're surrounded by the waters of Sirius B, by the Myrrh people, the Nomos, the aquatic people. Our Syrian ancestors are here to support you in releasing all of your 3D worldly attachments to let them cleanse you with the waters. Nico Nyono Moro Uye Kime and Yon Dori Katrandra Esha Korete Tontiele Donya Mele Karati Ro Orash Elohore Taya Paash Nintur Uru Otaya Salakrat Ad Etoya Mhele Kuru Otata Tia Tiki Nyu Oratara Atas Nyuru Urataya Kash Big Clearing Cords Falling Away 
Shuru oni halele ila saye kingi wadi tarara ay shokyoro ara mahali kurutu ya saraki. Niyantura aye ko aranya umbara uwa suye kyo uro uro ora aye shakaya a. Aya kaya uwa niya hanyo wa mahali saroro o tarara ta tiya iwa. Nara atara kuya embra ata sinchi ura tata tiya embra ata ki e owara as. Ni ahilu ara ata ahi halo ura ta ik. These desires of your mind that have transpired through lifetimes. Building empires, collecting wealth, holding power, are holding you from your angelic transformations. Willingly release them. They're like the ring. The ring in the Lord of the Rings, that when you hold it, it's so hard to let go of it, but it's poisoning you. Let it go. It must be of your own free will. It's beautiful, releasing, feeling it releasing. Stepping into the new, naked, light, clear, fresh, unafraid. In needing nothing, sustained by God, sustained by Source. Curious, not afraid. Step forward. Step forward through this portal willingly. The things that we are disintegrating out of your world, the bank accounts that are changing, the worldly possessions that you're losing, the relationships that are leaving, do not cling to them. Let us guide you, let us guide you. Hear our words and remember your truth. Remember your light. Remember the temporal form that changes and changes and changes around you that stays the same. Wealth lost can be rebuilt. Like a tide rising and falling, release. Let yourself float on top, untouched by the waves, or sink to the bottom and stay with the stillness. But don't sputter, don't flail, don't grasp and cling. And inhale really deep. If your hands are still on your chest, hold your breath and press your hands into your chest and release your hands with the exhale. Bring your hands together to prayer. <clears throat> inhale. So. Satnam, 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 I love you.